Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to the channel. For you today, Easter. Happy Easter. Um, beautiful day here in uh, Mile High City. And I just wanted to show you guys an overview, in-depth, not too in-depth, but somewhat overview of a 2003 Mercury Marauder. Now you might have been hearing about these cars lately. Some guy did a YouTube video about a... Uh, about a slick marauder that he just got and i got some views but uh you know we've been driving these for a while um had i've had this since 2011 and uh she's got 109,000 on her thinking about covering her up soon and hopefully letting the value go up a little bit because technically in 2023 this car will be 20 years old therefore it may be is that a classic not an antique but a classic so let me just go over um, some specs about the Marauder. It was uh, built in, well, they came in two years, 03 and 04. Um, mine was built in Canada, I believe, and then it was shipped to Georgia where its first owner was. And then after that, it, um, I guess the first owner sold it to someone in Hollywood, Florida, which is South Florida for those who don't know. And uh, now it's here in Denver. So... This is an 03. This is a B. So there was, oh man, there was two editions. There's the 03A edition and then the B edition, depending on the build date. This is the B edition. Um, and um, these cars, I'm going to be real with you guys. If you're as meticulous with your car as I am, these are very expensive. They, I know they look like they could just be a regular old Crown Victoria and Grand Marquise but that's not the case at all. These cars require a lot of detail, a lot of attention, and uh, honestly, a lot of money if, if you're as a car as, uh, as crazy about your car as I am. So let me go over some of the details. I think these, I have the original window sticker. I'll find that for you guys. Um, but uh, a lot of options, and uh, let's go ahead and take a, take a look. We should probably start with these under the hood here. Let's start under the hood. So if you look at the front, you got this nice, mean, all blacked out grill. Um, you got that mercury symbol in there. You're not gonna find too many mercury symbols like that anymore. Um, as you see, they got, you got fog lights at the bottom. I could turn those on and, and they'll be on, uh, on there. So the fog lights are a huge thing with me. I see Hellcats and Challengers, some without fog lights and that's just, I, I need fog lights. Right now I got the lamp lights on just those side orange bulbs kind of bright out here um if you move in it's a 4.6 i'm not going to go into specs i'm going to let you guys take a look i don't know the specs i'm going to be real with you i'm not going into cubic inches and this and that but uh 4.6 v8 i've got a k n cold air intake these are about 300 dollars. you'll get this this and this cone here um and this is just a dry air filter it just simply covers up the k and I I don't even know if they make those anymore. Some guy told me, he's like, you're not, you're supposed to take that off. I'm like, no, it's just a dry filter, man. There's a lot of dust out here. Um, it's kind of dirty, so pardon me. Um, pardon that. I need to rinse that down. But there she is. This is the 4.6. Four, the four she puts out 300, probably about 300 horsepower and 315 uh, pounds of torque. So... She, she gets up for me, and honestly, on the highway, this thing is a cruiser. Honestly, I'd take this on the highway. It just feels so secure when you're going over 60. It just feels secure. All right, now look at these 18-inch alloy something or another uh, wheels here. Um, I got drilled and slotted rotors. Just, you know, shout out to my guys over at Urban Auto Care. Uh, but, yeah. Or, and you see the God's Head logo. That emblem, that's the God's Head emblem. I have to get that tatted. Um, in the center caps. So, all right, so let's back it up here. You see I got some dings. There used to be a panel right here. Let me put this up. There used to be a panel right here, and it, and it goes all along there. But uh, I pulled it off, not thinking that the damage would be too bad. And it's, it's yeah, it kind of didn't look too good. So. Some of my paint guys are telling me what to do with that. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. Also, if you're gonna take off the back panel, keep in mind, you're gonna get this. This is factory. It's tape covering a hole. 
and it just doesn't look good but hey we're working with what we got here right that's what i always say look at this interior 2003 this is nudo leather you got your custom god's heads emblem in there uh i had to replace this because i had one of those dreaded elbow uh cuts in there you can kind of see it here but we got that upholstered taken care of there's old driver's seat i have a mercury marauder uh floor mat but uh, right now i'm just rocking with this but th it kind of looks like this this is a stock mercury marauder this is what comes in the marauder um we got a glove box here light i've got all my original paperwork in there i'll show you guys that later um this is factory this is you know you got your temperatures oil oil gauge and volts in your battery gauge there they which one is the dummy the oil meter doesn't work the battery does i don't know i think the old, old oil meter's just for show i should give a shout out to this o light if i can get the specs on this you guys want that for your keychain and i'm clocking that many miles right now so she's you know folks see this and they're like whoa the condition i'm like yeah thank you you know i take i i work hard and i no one sits in the back seat nobody sits in the back seat. you got cup holders more of that noodle leather nice got your red yeah, you know buckles big bucket seat back there big back window you got these chrome panels which are pretty cool chrome panels gotta clean it up so that's the inside for the most part let me show you guys the trunk of this it's one of my favorite parts so these cars come with a big trunk check that out you can see my bug out bag check out my other video if you want to check out the bug out bag and actually check out my other video for the snow brush too um i always keep an empty uh container in there says adidas hoodie i believe um so if you can see this would be the trunk cabinet here you got this whole storage area and if i open this up you're going to get different compartments and i have things in these different departments compartments excuse me um so i think i'll actually do a video about what's in my trunk and what you should have in yours as you see i got a tarp a toolbox some other things in there we'll get into that later spoiler i had this put on funny story Marauder owners, when they see this, they're gonna say, what, that doesn't look right. I know it doesn't look right. Oh well, my, moder my Marauder's unique. This is an OEM spoiler. Took it to the dealership in Delray, Florida. Delray Motors. And I asked them to put this on, and when they put it on, they put it on a little high. This, for most Marauders, should be down here, and it should be flush coming off the back of the actual trunk of the car they put it on a little high and when, when i look at hellcats and stuff i see them high like that so i'm like oh it's okay that's how i make myself feel better about it <laughs> all right moving along same on the other side you see this nice stitching the doors the nice you got nice stitching coming up very well stitched i mean it's beautiful it's even the original oh no it's gone regular floor mats down there and uh yeah this is the driver's side i've got these type of controls heated seats for the front two seats and um yeah so that's it i was thinking about doing donuts today but uh, i've got to go take a test so hope you guys enjoyed 2003 mercury marauder if you're thinking about buying one of these or getting one of these then my advice to you would just be do your research make sure if it was taken care of then and it has low mileage like i found mine then i would say go right ahead now you guys are going to probably think i'm crazy when i tell you what i got this for this had forty-five thousand miles on it 2011 i approached the the uh the guy who was driving this and he wanted 14.5 cash or no he wanted 14.5 he wasn't budging older gentleman said he got it from a first time car owner in georgia drove it down and i confirmed that because everything in the in the glove box it had this had the original warranty and all that good stuff from georgia so it was pretty cool to see that and um i forgot where i was going with that to be completely honest with you but yeah if you're looking to check these out 
do your research. They're a lot of money. Brakes alone, I got two, I got my rear brakes done. Um, rotors and full brake job. It cost me about 850 for just the back two brakes. So, I mean, just little things. I mean, I'm trying to think of what else. I have Magnaflow mufflers on that and the K&N air intake and that's it. But if you're thinking about getting them, good luck. And if you find one, keep it. I'm about to cover this and probably go grab an RT char Challenger or something. I don't know yet, but I, hey, I hope you enjoyed um, coming to you out of the Mile High City. Uh, we're out here. Happy Easter. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Take care.